Uh, what is up, world-class athlete? How would you like to be able to confidently close points with your forehand just like that? And if you're struggling to put away either those high balls or either those low balls just like this, then you're gonna love today's video uh, because I'm gonna teach you exactly how to master high balls and low balls as well as provide you with two drills you can step out on the court with your best hitting partner the next time you play. So let's jump right in. The first element for you to master to crush those high balls has everything to do with how you use your lower body and how you transfer your weight into the court in order to generate that effortless power on the high balls, just like uh, that. So here's a step-by-step -step drill that you can follow working with your favorite hitting partner. So to simplify things, just focus on achieving this first checkpoint. Number one, you're gonna get into a nice semi-open stance and you're gonna start your stroke already in the perfect backswing position. So you're gonna have your right arm lined up with your right hip. The wrist is gonna be an extended position with the racket tip up and away, just like that. And your left arm is gonna be positioned straight across your body, just like that. Now what you wanna focus on is your friend is gonna feed you and you're gonna focus on very fluidly leaning and transferring your body weight forward, finishing with that right leg kicking back, just like that. Now what that's gonna allow you to start mastering is how effectively that you're able to shift and transfer your weight into the court. By successfully being able to transfer your whole entire body weight into the court, it's what allows you to generate that massive force and hit those effortless winners, just like that. So after you get comfortable starting from that position and fluidly shifting your weight forward, the next drill that you wanna focus on is in this progression is actually incorporating a jump. So now that you're keeping the feet grounded, you're getting that weight shift forward, now you wanna focus on actually jumping and finishing on the left leg just like that. So feel a little higher, prep, that's it. Prep, uh, on the left. So that's the key, shifting that weight forward and finishing on the left. Another key checkpoint to focus on is that contact. A really common mistake that so many players make when they're trying to put away short balls is rather than fluidly extending their entire arm to go forward through the ball, Rather, at contact, they'll tense up, oh my gosh, I gotta make this shot in, and their arm will bend in, and they'll hit a weak high shot, and as a result, their opponent's gonna get to it. So again, quick recap of this drill. You're gonna start semi-open, achieve those checkpoints, shifting the weight forward, straight arm finish, and lastly, focus on jumping and accelerating that whole weight forward. Once you start feeling confident executing this drill, Let's progress to the second drill where your partner is going to feed you from the other side. So in this second progression, we're going to be leveling up to hit that at full speed. So what we're going to do is we're going to build off of the foundation that we just mastered in those last drills. So in progression number one, with your friend feeding you from the other side, you're going to get fed balls. You're going to set up like you're going to crush it, but then you're going to stop and freeze and make sure you're achieving the checkpoints we covered last. It's super critical. Whenever you're implementing a more advanced technique or you're trying to rewire muscle memory, don't go for it all out right away. Rather, you wanna slowly build the kinetic feel, the intelligence to know that you're mastering it. And often, swinging at about 50% speed with optimal form can get you the same or better results than 100% speed at suboptimal technique. So let's do a few more reps. And if you find yourself already perfectly achieving those backswing checkpoints, then you're ready to jump into the next phase where you're gonna set up and you're gonna swing at about 10% speed, focusing on the checkpoints you learned in the last setups. You're gonna split, set up to the ball, checkpoints, weight forward. And here I'm just being very conscientious of how my body feels, how my weight's going forward, and gradually, if I'm feeling confident with the technique, I even encourage you to actually use video analysis. And if you want access to a free video that teaches you an entire system that will completely transform your forehand technique using accelerated learning principles, you can click the link in the description right now to watch that free video. So smash that button right below right now. So once you get that mastered, you can then focus on increasing your speed to about 20% setting up, getting the weight forward, gradually feeling effortless, then setting up, going to about 80, 
getting that weight forward, feeling amazing. In every single shot, just focus on what I do right, how can I improve, going all the way up to 100%, where you're really setting up and driving that weight forward. From there, the last variation you can do is actually play the point out with your friend. We'll cover that in a future video. Now, let's jump in to how to master the short ball. Bang. All right, world-class athlete, you've mastered the high ball. Let's now master that low ball. So building off the intuition that you just mastered, we're gonna get set into the same exact backswing checkpoint we just mastered of that right arm, right hip, tip up and away, left arm across. But rather than being in a semi-open stance, we wanna be in a neutral or a closed stance. And we're gonna be executing the footwork pattern known as the front foot hop, where it essentially looks like this. You set up and you hop off that front leg. So what you wanna focus on doing when you accelerate is you'll be in this position. You're gonna shift your weight from your back leg to your front leg, and then you're gonna gracefully hop and land on that left just like that. So what we're gonna focus on is going at about 10% speed, very fluidly hopping off of that front foot just like that. And really key here is as we're accelerating, you wanna focus on pulling the arm away from the body with a loose wrist, creating the flip or the external rotation of the shoulder, which will then allow you to generate the internal rotation of the shoulder when you finish. An added bonus benefit that I found in drill that you can use, I should say, that I found a great effect with my students is if you find yourself struggling to generate spin or your ball is flying out, focus on accelerating through your follow through with a straight arm finish with the racket just like that. So watch how as I accelerate and stop the racket, you'll notice how much top spin that I'm able to generate with that finish just like that. Ready? And brush. And what you'll find, it's so satisfying because rather than being frustrated with those short balls, using this footwork pattern, you're gonna be able to step up, get in that neutral stance, ugh, accelerate, and easily close, feeling confident and having so much more fun on the court. So just like with those high balls, let's now have our partner go to the other side and master it from a more difficult fed position. Let's jump right in. Uh, all right, world-class athlete. So in this last drill, we're gonna be mastering exactly how to do that. So building off of what we focused on in the last drill, we want to emphasize executing that perfect backswing position. So as you get fed balls, focus on freezing and checking yourself with those visual criteria. Is your right arm in line with your right hip? Is the tip up and away? Are you in neutral stance, closed stance, and is the left arm across? Go ahead and execute that a few more times until you feel very comfortable with it. And then by assessing and making sure you're achieving the right checkpoints, you're ready to move on to now we're gonna start crushing it at about 10% speed. So your focal point here is splitting, achieving the unit turn backswing and hopping just like that. Feeling very fluid, focusing on generating as much power from your body just like that. And if you want access to a full step-by-step -step system that's gonna teach you how to ingrain all of this technique into your unconscious muscle memory using the world's most advanced frameworks and accelerated learning tactics, I really wanna encourage you to click the link in the description right now where you can watch a free video that's gonna teach you exactly how to develop world-class forehand technique and put it into your unconscious muscle memory through accelerated learning drills just like this. So I'm encouraging you, click that link in the description right now. So now that you're about 10% speed, you wanna focus on increasing to about 20, getting that weight forward, setting up, hopping, ugh. and again, really playing around as well with that windshield wiper finish checkpoint. We're then gonna start picking up the speed, gradually increasing to about 80%, getting that weight to go forward, focusing on that hop, also focusing on getting that top spin windshield wiper checkpoint, going up all the way to 100% speed, splitting unit turn, ugh, ugh, hopping, going through it, having that confidence. All right, world-class athlete, you guys are now ready to hit on the court with your favorite hitting partner, execute these drills, and develop that world-class put-away forehand. If you now wanna master the Alcaraz forehand, click here. If you wanna stop double faulting, click here, and I'll see you on the next video. Let's go.